Hi there, Steve Petashevsky, Chef Steve, here with my new cookbook, Sizzle and Smoke, that I wrote with the American Diabetes Association. This is such a great book because it's so unusual. This isn't your typical barbecue book. There's no pulled pork or barbecued brisket in it. Instead, it's one of my favorite collections of grill recipes that I've assembled from around the globe, and I really do mean that. These are my favorites. I've gotten them in the most obscure places in the world, and the one I'm bringing you today is really, really one of my favorites. It's so, so unusual. It's fresh pan-grilled seafood, and keep in mind something. You don't have to be outside to grill. You don't have to be outside in the rain and the snow and the hot weather. You can have a grill pan in your own kitchen. A lot of the recipes in the book use a grill pan. It's one of my favorite implements in my home kitchen. And basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to raise the heat up on this grill pan. And you notice it's called a grill pan because it's got the raised edges in it, just like you would have on your barbecue outside. I'm going to put a little bit of oil here. And when that pan gets hot, I'm going to take my shrimp and scallops, which have a little bit of seasoning on them, and I'm going to put them in the pan, and that's the sound you want to hear right away as soon as you put them in there. There's beautiful seafood sizzling and starting to cook immediately. So I'm going to put there, let them cook slowly. Don't touch them, don't disturb them, let them just be there and have fun. And in the meantime, I'm going to move on to the salad. Here's a really interesting ingredient, quinoa. It's been around for a while. In fact, it's been around for centuries, but in this country, last couple of years, it's become really, really popular. It's the only grain that has all eight essential amino acids in it, so it's a complete protein. This is the golden kind. You can see that beautiful golden color, and it's cooked just like rice. You just cook it in water with a pinch of salt, and this is what it becomes. This one that you're looking at is the tricolor one. You see it's got a little bit of black and red quinoa in it also. And it's soft and fluffy and aromatic, and basically it cooks up like rice. Very, very simple. And I'm going to put it in our bowl, cook quinoa. It smells a little bit nutty, too. And now I start adding all the fun stuff. I have black beans to it. It's kind of a tropical dish, but if you want, you can use red beans, you can use white beans, pinto, whatever you like. A little bit of fresh tomato that gives it a little bit of juiciness to it, adds to the color. Some sweet garden peppers. I have the red ones here, but you can use yellow or green if you want also. Some minced green onion that gives it a little bit of pungency to it. Now, I'm a spicy kind of guy. I love, love spicy food, so I put a little bit of minced jalapeno in it. You can add scotch bonnets, serranos, whatever you like. Fresh cilantro, very, very unusual flavor. It's got a lot of pungency to it as well. And we kind of temper that pungency by adding creamy ripe avocado, one of my favorite ingredients. Love it. Here's a super favorite ingredient too, ripe mango. It's gonna add some sweetness to it, beautiful color, antioxidants. Okay, so here's a little chef's secret that I wanna show you with my mango here. This is a great way to cut a mango. For some reason, people love seeing this. I don't know why, but they seem to get a big kick out of it. Cut the mango in half. Take your knife and just run it in a crosshatch pattern. First this way, and then turn it the other way. Don't go through the skin, though. Let the skin be the holder and keep it intact. Put your knife down, invert the mango like this, and then you have a beautiful little hedgehog mango. You have two choices here. You can cut the mango off into your salad, or if you want to serve a little appetizer just like this, please feel free and go ahead to do that. It looks great on a plate, little mango hedgehog. Okay, back to the salad. We have all of our ingredients in here except our fresh lime juice. This gives it a nice little pleasant tartness. Goes with the sweet of the mango. This is our citrus dressing, and of course, a very simple dressing recipe. It's right on the same page with the rest of the salad. It's just orange, lime juice, and a little bit of olive oil. Put it in here. Gonna give it a light toss, just for a second. Gonna go to our seafood here, which is just about cooked through. It's beautiful and delicate and juicy. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna transfer the seafood. You have two options here. You can cool it down completely if you want, or you can pop it right in there warm. People love it both ways. I'm gonna turn our flame off, pick up our grill pan, and then I'm gonna transfer this right into the bowl. Every last shrimp and scallop, nobody's getting away on this one, folks. I'm gonna look at the color and the texture and the flavors in this thing. This has to be one of the all-time colorful, beautiful salads. Everywhere I serve this, people really, really seem to enjoy it because think about how much stuff is going on here. And it's very, very light too, full of protein. This has to be one of my favorites. So I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. Let me just give you a couple of parting thoughts from the book, Sizzle and Smoke. 
Uh, again, beautiful photographs. It should be so easy for you to follow the recipes. The other thing is it has all the nutritional exchanges here very, very clearly laid out because when you're trying to eat healthier, sometimes it can be a little confusing. The thing I really like most of all about this book is that it's not only about the beautiful center of the plate items, it's also about salsas and sauces which you can put on top of your dishes. It's about the side dishes that you can serve along, along with your dishes and also I've got a whole chapter on grilled desserts which is out of this world. With that said, I hope you enjoy this book as much as I do and please share it with your family and your friends. I hope these recipes become traditions in your family as well. Thanks so much. Bye.